Thank you for taking the time to find out more about our QuickBooks Link for Act product called QB Sales Data, developed by Effective Solutions. The purpose of this video is to show you how the QB Sales Data product lets you link records between Act and QuickBooks, and how to import sales data from QuickBooks once those records are linked. An important step to setting up any QuickBooks integration is linking the records between Act and QuickBooks. Our QuickBooks Link Wizard gives you the ability to link ACT company records and contact records all at once, eliminating the need to link records one at a time. First thing to note, in order to run the Link Wizard, you need to be on a machine that has both ACT and QuickBooks installed. You also need to have both of those programs open to the appropriate databases, just like I do here. Here's my QuickBooks database. Here's my ACT database. Our QuickBooks Link Wizard opens from within ACT. You can go to Tools in ACT and choose the QB Link Wizard option. When you click on that, the following screen appears. Note that you can link records at both the company and contact level in ACT. So if you use company records in your ACT database, you can have the sales total fields and QuickBooks transactions tabs appear on the company records in ACT. Let's assume in this case that I use both company and contact records in my ACT database. The first thing I'm going to do is link my company records in ACT to QuickBooks customer records. From the company linking tab, I select my field matching settings first. I tell the program what to search for as a match. So I'm going to pick uh, the QuickBooks customer name and the ACT company name as what to match on. Then I click on the Load Data button. The wizard will search through the QuickBooks database and look for matches. In this case, I'm matching on company name. Where it finds a match, it will display the matching QuickBooks customer name and it will change the action to link. When it doesn't find a match, such as Arcadia Avenue Florist, you can double click on that line and search through the QuickBooks customer list to see if there is a match. In some cases, the QuickBooks customer name may be slightly different like it is with Arcadia Avenue Florist. In that case, I can simply select the appropriate QuickBooks customer record and click on the link button to manually link that record. Note that the data, in this case the company name, needs to be exactly the same as the QuickBooks customer name for the program to find a match. Once you're ready to process the links, you can go ahead and click on the process button in the lower right. When you do that, it will give you a status update in the lower left. When the process is complete, it will let you know. If I load the data again after that first set of linking, notice that it only shows me the company records that are not yet linked, which is a nice feature. Now let's link any contacts that did not have company records. Note that when I link the company records, all the contacts linked to those company records were also automatically linked to QuickBooks records. So let me switch over to the contact linking tab and select my field match settings here as well. Once again, I'm going to match on the QuickBooks customer name matching to the ACT company, ACT field company name. Note that you can also choose to only match on the current lookup. So if you have an ACT database of 10,000 contacts, but only 500 are customers, you can look up those customers first and then choose the current lookup option on this screen to make that list more manageable. I'm going to choose all contacts and I'm going to click on the load data button. It will display the matches found 
and once again set them to link in the action column where there's a match. At this point you can once again scroll through the records and look for additional matches by double clicking on the individual line items. When you're ready to process the list, you can click on the process button. And once again it will give you a status in the lower left when it's complete. When you're done, you can click on the close button and your linking process is complete. Okay, we now have all of our ACK records linked to the appropriate customer records in QuickBooks and with that complete, we can now pull in sales data from QuickBooks. I'm going to show you the manual way to import sales data from QuickBooks into ACT. We also have a program that you can set up to run each night to automatically import your QuickBooks data into ACT. To do the manual import, you need to once again be on a machine that has both ACT and QuickBooks installed, and you need to have both of those programs open to the appropriate databases. With both of those programs open, I can go to ACT and go to the Tools menu and search for the QB Sales Data Import option. I click on that and the import window appears. The first time you import, you can go ahead and bring in three years of data. On subsequent imports, you can go ahead and set it to a month or so because you really only need to bring in what's new. Now if you have a very large QuickBooks customer list, say five to 10,000 customers, you may want to import in smaller chunks like one year periods. Whatever you choose, the import program will check to see if the data already exists, and if it does, it will skip it. So it is smart enough to handle pretty much any situation. Now I have a smaller QuickBooks customer list, so I'm going to go ahead and do my initial import of three years. So I'll click on the option to do the last three years, and then I'll click on the direct import button. In the lower left, the program will give you status updates. Eventually, it'll tell you that the import is complete. Once complete, I can click on the close button and go ahead and check to make sure my data came into ACT. I'm going to look up Circle Photography because I know they have plenty of sales data in QuickBooks. So I'll do a lookup by company. I already have circle in there from my last lookup. I'll click OK and pull up that company. And we'll use Sean Duffy's record here to double check things. And now I'm on the circle photography record that was linked to Act, um, sorry, linked to QuickBooks. And notice that our AR fields in the upper right are populated. So we've got all of our balances, past due balance, total balance, and last invoice date came over, along with any other peripheral QuickBooks fields. Now let's check our sales data tab. Notice our sales data was populated as well. So it went ahead and calculated the last three years of sales totals. It calculated the year-to-date sales based on today's date so we can compare how much was purchased versus last year at the same time. And then let's go check our QuickBooks Transactions tab. And there we can see it brought over all the transactions for the last three years. And I can double click on any transaction to see the details of that. Now how easy was that? And if we have remote users who sync their ACT databases, all this data synchronizes out to them as well. Life is good with QuickBooks data in ACT. So just to recap, once you have your initial data loaded, the best bet is to configure the nightly program to import your last 30 days of QuickBooks data into ACT automatically each night. The user guide will have instructions on how to configure the nightly import program. I hope you enjoyed the presentation and have a better understanding of how the QB sales data product links records to QuickBooks and imports sales data into ACT. Feel free to take advantage of our other online videos 
explaining other aspects of the product. Thank you, and have a wonderful day.